Bill Curgeon started the final qualifying off in style in his silver 1980 Holden Commodore. Before things got too hot in the back end, that even left the wheel archers screaming for mercy. West Aussie Steve Sines had his Holden HZ singing and bouncing off the rev limiter repeatedly during his burnout effort. Next up was the purple and gold 1973 Ford Falcon Ute of Peter Gramusa. Peter started strongly and kept high RPM for 56 seconds before easing off the throttle for just a moment and the engine temperature became too hot for a strong finish. Peter Gray is a true burnout master and the frying hog kicked off strongly with a sustained burnout in his supercharged 502 cubic inch big block Monaro. Gray's optimal revs for almost a minute and a half saw the tyre sidewalls say goodbye. Danny Smith's big black Chev was a real crowd pleaser. However, a loss of fight to wheel speed and then tyre smoke cost him a chance of making the all-important final five. But he still went hard to the finish with the engine cooling system begging for mercy. Steve Loder was riding the throttle early in his black 540 Cuba big block Holden. That cost him vital points and then we saw a big flame out moment which ended his run. Yeah.